okay so everyone has understood so far now let's see the implementation of activity uh, basically the implementation of shared preference just need to simply come one second just need to simply come to your uh, Java part here what I will do is I'll create a shared preference in the same example itself I'll create a shared preference so creating a shared preference like let's say I'll name it as SP okay now This, app, uh, this particular method will allow me to get the shared preferences thing which takes two parameters the string name and the int mode the int mode is something which should return if the preference does not exist if you can see in the definition itself here the first one parameter name desired preferences file if a preferences file by this name does not exist it will be created when you retrieve an editor and then commit changes the mode is processing mode can also be used if multiple processes are mutating the same shared preference file okay so we will use this method we will create the name by which we want to create a shared preference file so we will create the shared preference file name as shared file this is the name of our shared preference and we will put the mode as zero that's it now our shared preference is ready the second part comes we want to put some data inside it so on the click of a button as I am coming here I'll do same part that is I'll put this string value which I was sending to another activity I'll put this value in the shared preference so I'll say SP shared preference preference dot editor sp edit is equal to p dot edit now using the sp edit method I would write something inside the shared preference So I'm trying to write as edit dot put a string the same way you have to pass a key so let's say pass this time the key as sp underscore key and the value as str just save it now we have edited now we have to commit this so sp the same object as p edit dot commit this will commit the changes that is your saved you can save it now you can come to the next part this is how your shared preference is created here if I create a shared preference the name I want to give it as shared file 
pass here 0 and then I'll try to access something out of it. Now what I want is, I want to retrieve the value out of this preference. So I'll simply say get a string and I want to pass the value. So value I will pass is what key I have passed. The key I passed is sp underscore key. And the value, the second parameter is something which asks that if this value does not exist, then what the shared preference should return you. Then I say shared preference should return me the value as not available and instead of using this bundle this time I will simply use the shared preference to set the text inside my edit text just come down set it and then put the data as 